Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we have some pretty good brand new news when it comes to Target, Target walk-ins, Target uh, actual available stock, as well as also for Walmart, where we actually did go and see a few more additional states also going to receive some stock. So I want to go and talk about that. You have a lot of cool, interesting walk-in news, and just overall, just a little bit of a ramble that I'm sure some of you guys may know about some parts for that, but I'll give you guys the news first and the little ramble right afterwards, as well to kind of go and save you guys some time. As well, if any of you guys are brand new, make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on as well for the brand new PlayStation 5 giveaway. Like this video itself, and if you guys go to the store, check out the stores or whatever, or if you guys are Target employees, Walmart employees yourselves, feel free to go leave some additional information down below if you guys would like to as well. Twitter and Twitch stream down below if you guys want to follow up on either or and of course sign up for Weeble with the link down below deposit $100 you guys go get free stack and free money Coinbase you guys go buy $100 worth of any cryptocurrency you guys go and get free Bitcoin those are always linked down below let's go dive into the actual news itself so first of all I want to go give you guys well I guess we'll do the Walmart news first so if you guys did not know we actually have the resurgence of the Walmart PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X walk-ins floating around and this has actually been kind of like a story we've been kind of somewhat seeing for the past month or so if you guys have been kind of following up the videos we've been seeing more additional stock and additional checkouts in the texas area in all the big states of like not big states big cities of like dallas houston austin etc we've been seeing lots of additional small stock some walmart stocks having stock and it does kind of seem like at least in those big regions up in texas a lot of those walk-ins are seeming more often so we also did go and report like around that month ago or so and with the sporadic pop was kind of happening we also saw some stock up in florida as well about a week ago or so we actually saw a few more people confirming and getting more consoles in the walmart area in texas and those reports are still kind of slowly coming on in we keep on seeing people getting more stock but we actually have that now an additional big like new states floating around where we're seeing walmart orders going and getting stock so this is actually in the Missouri area and Arkansas area in those like uh, specific states, which I do believe like I, I did a little bit of research before this video went live. You guys can correct me or give more information if you guys would like. But I do believe those regions are actually more where like the Walmart headquarters headquarters are located. So I kind of wonder if that's gonna be a little bit more of a bump up of the likelihood or maybe they're trying their best to maybe go and test out actual supplies just to like see how like the in-stores actually go how the employees do things and all of that all around this like Arkansas and the kind of Missouri ish area so now we're slowly kind of branching out because we actually had a lot of walk-in news when it comes to like say like Myers and other locations in the Midwest BJ's too as well a lot of the East Coast for the Xbox and PS5s so the fact that we're actually now seeing even more especially in the South it's kind of a good sign because the South just really hasn't had too much good like brand new next gen console walk-ins besides a little bit of xbox series s with the walmart stores themselves so it's kind of very nice that we can finally start seeing some bump ups and some rumors and some stock arrivals for everyone out there down there in the south so major congrats to you guys and hopefully this will keep on the trend will keep on continuing we have seen a few checkouts we've seen a few in stock uh, pictures like in stores and also receipts too as well so at least we do know it's been going on throughout the past like month or so other restockers other articles etc cetera, etc cetera. you guys have probably seen those in the previous videos but just letting you guys know that we actually have been seeing a lot more of that for walmart as well also for the xbox series x's we saw little baby bits of rumors about like about a month and a half ago or so so in case you guys are going to be on the lookout for any xbox consoles we have been seeing a lot more of those floating around but the major kind of big news and re like receipts and everything I mentioned has been more so on the PlayStation 5 but with there actually being some Xbox Series S's pretty much everywhere like we still see those floating around a lot in these many various stores like a lot a lot a lot we've even been seeing reports too as well for things up in like GameStop as well as other places we've seen Target we've seen Myers a lot of the Xbox Series S's are always pretty much there but when it comes to Xbox Series X's we also have been seeing like a little bit more like sporadic walk-ins and sporadic pop-ups for these Walmart stores so all around good news we do like seeing this stock and it's always just I guess good so as well we also have a little bit more employee information slash walk-in information when it comes to the Target stores so if you guys also know we did go have a Target restock last Friday so as of right now it's been around the nine day period or so and we actually have once again been seeing reports of the Target PS5 walk-ins available so this of course is always like more on the uh, sporadic side so how it works for Walmart is that this thing is more so select locations when it comes to Target these like walk-ins slash like additional stock slash like stock in the back is more so just for nationwide but I always have to say this because I whenever like a Target drop happens like a week ago afterwards or so we just see this happen a lot 
So always remember, if you guys ever go to Target stores, they might have additional stock in the back that they could potentially go and sell to people. Whenever these drops happen about a week after, we start seeing these reports popping up quite a bit more often. And because what happened, like basically what we've been told from Target employees is that if there was a drop and the stock itself was not picked up, so think either like a canceled credit card, canceled order, someone tried to go buy like four consoles because they're just spamming the cart, but they actually, you know, like they only got one. I think saw like the confirmed email, but in theory, they also had another like two confirmed and they basically kind of tied up the stock. Sometimes big bot orders or big bike scalper orders can also get canceled. And then they do have additional stock. We've been seeing this happen for the probably the past like two, three months or so, especially when it comes to all these drops floating around. So we see all of this uh, happening. And usually the holding period we've seen is either from like three days or seven days when it comes to Target stores, which is like I said, as I mean, if you have like three bonus orders that were specifically allocated for the previous drop, then that just means that they have additional stock available and they can go in like they could allocate the previous drop stock that should have been sold and should have been picked on up. But like as I mentioned from, from you know, like body or body shoes, banking shoes, whatever. Then with that additional stock, you can go into the store and on very rare occasions, they will go and sell it to you. So I think based on the previous drops, it's usually like a nice five or 10 percent chance. Very, very on the unlikely side. But now is the time that we are seeing a lot more rumors and reports showing up for it and people going to Target stores and getting stock and all of that. As well, as I mentioned, as you guys saw from the previous part of the video, with also the Walmart stores too as well, also receiving additional walk-in stock now with brand new states having big stock arrivals. So, both of those things are very, very good. We also have been seeing a lot of Xbox Series S's floating around in Target locations. Xbox Series X's actually arriving for both actual, um, for actual Target stores themselves. So, employees have confirmed that they've had small batches on that too as well. So it's all around looking kind of really good for both of these kind of big stores. So good news for that. As well, I do want to give you guys a reminder. We are going to keep on trying our best to stay on top of the target employees to go and see if there's like more PS5 disc that relies, re arrives or if there's any more PlayStation 5 digital stock because we did go and see this past like two weeks or so. I have a lot of PlayStation 5 digital and Xbox Series X restocks in the morning. So we may have also been kind of assuming that the PS5 digitals and Xboxes are now on their own separate drop pattern, how Target dropped theirs like a while ago, and the PS5 disc editions are their own normal restocking waves as of now. So I'll keep you guys up to date the best I can. And don't forget the Xbox Series S's, if you guys really want one, are still actively floating around pretty much everywhere around these places. So always look good to go and good to check for that. As well, just as for a little additional restock information, because it's the weekend, it's a little bit more on the drier side. We did go and see a few more confirmations on some other walk-in news floating around, which is very, very nice. If you guys saw the PC Richards from earlier on today, we sadly still have not seen any Myers information. Like I try my best to reach out, try to get some information, like do whatever I could, but we didn't see any good Myers stuff for this weekend for the PS5 and Xbox. So both that's a little bit more on the sadder side. And as well, I don't think we saw anything good on the new egg uh, shuffles and all the other various places, Costco, Sam's Club, Amazon, all of that. We really didn't see too much good news for pretty much anything. So a little bit on the sadder side, but at least we are seeing these walk-ins slowly kind of peeking on up. And I'm sure a lot of you guys would agree. And I say this in a lot of my videos. I do always wish that we could actually have all these places almost fully switch over to walk-ins because these online orders are just always a pain, always a struggle, and I hate having to go and deal with them because, well, it just it just, it just stinks. They really just, just truly go and stink because it just sold, like basically Walmart still is owed for three restock waves that have still not been sorted out for just anything, for stock and stuff. So it's almost even on the weirder side too that they're now starting to switch to online orders. They may just be testing them on out. They have been floating around for these past few months or whatever. So it does kind of stink because I'd rather have all the people that order their consoles in like literally June, July, you actually go and receive them instead of actually having additional batch stocks either for Sam's Club or Walmart in stores. But at least on the bright side, I think whenever they do fully switch to these in-store orders for all the big retailers, Best Buy, Target, GameStop, etc., then I think a lot of these actual major issues when it comes to these consoles and everything should be a little bit better but at least we are seeing it at least we're seeing new states and all that at least we have also employee reports too it's all around good news that's pretty much about it for this quick little update video we might have a few other little vari video various videos all throughout the rest of the day so be on the lookout for that as well if you guys are brand new make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on we might have some other various videos all throughout today too as well amazon links down below even though they might be a little bit more on the broken side for the ps5 disc digital console controller 
Twitter and Twitch stream as well. The link down below. And of course, sign up for Weeble. Deposit $100. You guys go get free stack, free money. Coinbase, you guys go buy $100 worth of any cryptocurrency. You guys go and get free Bitcoin. Like the video and leave your thoughts and comments down below. And I'll see you guys up on the next video itself later on tonight. Love you guys.